Buyer's Market. It's a prediction people in Vancouver have been waiting a long time for. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with new data from the Real Estate Board of Greater Vancouver. Tyler, what are the details? Well, we're seeing that home sales have dropped 37.7% in June. That's compared with the same period a year ago. Meanwhile, supply has gone to a three-year high. You add it all together, it looks like maybe some signals of a buyer's market. The big difference, though, is that prices are not moving downwards at all. We actually saw that the benchmark price for all homes across the region is at $1,093,000. That's actually up 9.5% year over year. That's going to be one of the key ingredients for us to actually consider it to be a buyer's market. So I wouldn't get our hopes up just yet, but we are seeing some movement in that direction according to this latest data. All right. And uh, I understand that we're speaking of the real estate market here in Vancouver. We know that Toronto has also been a hot market, but there is a, a new city that is up and coming now. Yeah, we go to the LaBelle province and in Montreal, we actually see that there's a lot more interest from Chinese buyers in Montreal than there wa was in uh, British Columbia just compared with a year ago. We actually see from Jouet.com that interest in Vancouver has gone down 18%. Toronto, it's gone down uh, 25%. But inquiries from Chinese nationals into Montreal properties, it's actually shot up 84.5% in 2017. And consider that in 2016, interest was going up 43.3%. So going forward, I look at the very fact that there's simply just less room for growth in Vancouver, considering everything that's gone forward. Look at foreign buyers tax, as well as more restrictive measures on mortgages from Ottawa. It's all adding up to people looking at other markets, and Montreal seems to be the one at this moment. All right. Very interesting. Tyler, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Sonia.